Okay, um, this is a video kind of showing how to um, <clears throat> do an ECT mod. It's an electronic coolant temperature sensor mod. And um, I know some of the guys um, with Supras have done it before. And um, what it's basically doing is you've got your coolant temperature sensor that's going to be right, let's see here, they're going to be, be right down in here. And mine, let's see here, yeah, it, ba it basically goes down inside the block there. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, it's right here, right here, right down there. And um, there's two wires coming out of it. One wire is going to go to the um, ECU for your signal. And the other wire is going to be a common ground that's basically just going to ground out somewhere. And um, um, what you do is, what I had to do is basically I trace the wire back. I've got an electronic wiring diagram. And I was able to trace it back to my ECU. And I found out where the wires went. And yeah, that's now it's messy, but it works. And it runs like a top, believe it or not. And um, anyways, I found out what the wires were. I can't remember what the colors were at this point. But... Um, the wires, I found out which one was my ground, which one was my signal, and I cut the signal. I don't like cutting wires, but I had to cut it. And um, basically spliced two longer wires onto it, and um, ran the wires over to a point, I believe it's a point meter, right down there. I mean, it's just a temporary location. I, I guess I could probably figure something else out, but that's my Bluetooth setup I have. Um, anyways, what it, what it does is when your engine is cold, your engine runs an open loop. And um, basically, ECU reads information based off the engine cooled temperature, temperature sensor, and it runs, it runs richer, it dumps more fuel in, and your um, timing stays at 14.5 and once the engine reaches a certain temperature basically it starts reading information goes into closed loop starts reading information from your O2 sensors so what this does is this gives me the ability to basically force it into open loop and closed loop whenever I want or in this case what I can actually do is um, I can actually change the idle, which is pretty cool. So, the only downside to this that I found out is I re just recently read my codes. And, um, <clears throat> I do have an engine coolant temperature sensor code because you're messing with it so much and you're affecting the signal that it's basically ECU is going to throw, hey, what the heck's going on here? It's going to want to find out what the problem is. But it's easily reset and doesn't come up if you have like emissions or anything like that or if you're in California. So, as you can see, it's down here, and uh, just gonna mess with it a little bit. And this, how it, this, the resistance in this one affects it about a thousand RPM. And right here, basically, it's completely off. There's nothing, you know, n nothing happening. It's basically, the same signal that is good, that gets from the signal, the sensor itself to the ECU is one signal. You crank it up, and you modify that signal, and basically. That right there is open loop, and it's you know running like it would if it was cold in this situation. And um, I mean, sure you can you can you know I don't know I guess you can probably stick a throttle hand throttle on it or something, but this is a lot easier and a lot more a lot more convenient. So um, there's a couple guys out there that have done ECT mods, and um, whether they worked or not. You know, I'm not too sure, but, you know, in closed loop, my uh, timing jumps around, and in open loop, it stays rock solid 14.5. So, you know, I wish I had a dyno or something, I could actually test this site and see if it actually affects anything, but I don't. So, if you guys are interested in doing this, it's pretty simple, it's a lot easier if you have a wiring diagram. If you don't, you can just uh, trace your wires using a polarity tester, and uh, cut your signal wire, wire in a... Um, Crap, I'm not too sure what this point meter is. I believe it is a, uh, uh, I got it down in here somewhere. Um, I'll leave it, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the, uh, the ohms in a, in the description box below and, um, let you know because it's, it was kind of, it was kind of trial and error. As you can see, I had some of these 
and these i mean they worked okay but it just you barely move out anything and it bounces up to 2000 rpm which is not not what you want you want to have some adjustment there um so yeah works like a top one of the best um best things that i've done really because I, I like i like messing with stuff you know and as you can tell everything's kind of cut up but five speed swap anyways um let me know what you may or may not want to see next and i'll shoot it okay bye